Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to create your own digital signature for your PDFs. But before we continue, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel so you can keep up with the latest and greatest. So you receive this PDF document and it has a little signature icon here that it allows you to assign. This is uh, very beneficial because you don't have to print this out. You don't have to sign it, scan it back and send it to the person. This is allowing for a digital signature. So it's very easy. Just know that if there's anything else that needs to be put down, like let's say the date, let's say today was 8-8-2020. Please do all of that before because once you sign, it's going to want to save it uh, already signed, like a signed document. So once you have all the other fields typed out, then you can go ahead and click on your signature. So you click on the blue button to create your signature. Here, if you, I already have mine set up. So if I wanted to just sign, I would click here and click continue and uh, it would sign it for me. But here I'm gonna configure a new digital signature. I'm gonna create a new digital signature. I'm gonna save it to Windows Certificate Store. And here I'm gonna type out uh, my name. I'm gonna put as here, you can put your organization, you can put your school's name, you can put the, uh, the school you're at, here you can put the district you're at, you can put your email address and then after that, you know what, I'm just going to put my name here because um, I'm going to put uh, Mr. IT because that means that once I once I register it, it's going to stay there. So once you have all your dem demographics filled out, you go, go ahead and click on save and now you're going to have something called, you're, you're going to have different options. So whenever you want to digitally sign, you can digitally sign as any of these people. I'm going to click on, I want to digitally sign here. So I'm going to click on it. I'm going to click on continue here. We're, and now here it says standard text. This will type out your name in, instead of signing it and it'll give it the digital stamp. So if you're good with that, if they allow that, you can just click on sign and you're done with it. But sometimes you want to, you want to create your own signature, like as if you're writing it down with a pen. So you can create here. You can go to draw and you can, if you have a touch screen on your computer, you can actually use your finger to, or a stylus to sign your, your, the, the way you sign your name. So I'm going to just go ahead and put Mr. IT. I'm going to apply. So now that one comes out. It's up to you. Uh, if you want to use the, your name here or the signature that you have, you click on apply, you click save. And then once you're happy with what it looks like, you can click on sign. And this is why I told you to make sure you sign everything or fill out everything else before you sign, because what's going to happen is it's going to want to save it automatically. So I'm going to go with, I'm going to go to the desktop. I'm going to put test. I'm going to save it. And there you go. It signed it as Mr. IT. And you can send this back to whoever sent it to you and they have your digital signature. All right. It is easy as that. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. But once again, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.